at the very outset, on behalf of the Sikhmese <coughs> people, I'd like to thank and congratulate Honorable Prime Minister and the government for extensive vaccination drive. Sikkim has been a forerunner in vaccination and most of the adult <coughs> Sikkimese people have been vaccinated. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to the healthcare workers who have worked incredibly at the time of pandemic and all the other frontline warriors. Honorable Chairman, in last few years, Sikkim has seen quite a quite development in infrastructure like the extension of highway, uh, widening of highway and construction of bridges along the Indochina border in North and East Sikkim. For this, I'd like to thank Honorable Defense Minister, and I'd like to bring to the kind notice of the government and the minister that Sikkim is a small state, but we are surrounded by three international borders. One of the most sensitive border is Indochina border. However, we also have a long border along western part of the state, which is Indo-Nepal border. This border is still very much isolated, and there is no connectivity of roads, as well as there is uh, no reliable mobile network. There are 14 BOPs. Most of them are above 12,000 feet of altitude. Therefore, I request the government to, to take this issue very seriously and uh, help the state government of Sikkim to, for the co connection of, uh, to give the connectivity to the Indo-Nepal border as well. The deplorable condition of NH10 is known to the Indian government as well. And I again reiterate to the Indian government, the government of India, and the road minister, that this is the only highway that connects Sikkim with the rest of the India. So this is very important, I, and I request from this August <laughs> House that, that this NH10 may be kindly uh, taken into account, and the condition of this uh, national highway NH10 may kindly be uh, made better, which is very deplorable at this uh, point of time. Sikkim is known for various famous sports persons and athletes. We are proud that some of our brothers from Sikkim have represented India in the Olympics as well. And I'd like to extend my gratitude to the government for providing us with Hello India Center of Excellence at Gangtok. We look forward to have more such centers so that the athletes from a small state like Sikkim and other northeastern states may participate more and uh, grow the culture, sports culture in our state. Sikkim government has announced to provide play playgrounds to each and every school, including primary schools in the remote areas so that we can have more sports persons and athletes. One big announcement by the government is chemical free farming, which is, which is uh, I think, which will change the entire uh, nature of the economy and the agriculture of the country. However, I'd like to point out one a very basic issue in this form because Sikkim is already an organic state and we have been through this problem. So before implementing chemical free farming in any of the other rest of the country or the other states, I'd like to request the government to allocate more fund in production of organic manure, organic fertilizer and bio fertilizers so that the productivity uh, doesn't decrease in those areas where the chemical uh, free farming is proposed by the government. And lastly, I'd like to thank uh, the Honorable Prime Minister for all the help to, uh, given to the state of Sikkim during the time of pandemic because of his help and generosity, because of his compassionate uh, lead, leadership that Sikkim, like a small state of Sikkim, was able to fight against the COVID pandemic. With this, I support the motion of thanks on the President's address. Thank you, Madam.